Good afternoon, Coach. Welcome to HSBM Media Days. Good to see you. Um, coach, introduce yourself and the players you have here today. Okay. Uh, my name is Chad Mills, head baseball coach at Benjamin. Um, I have with me on my right Rocco Gaeta, uh, our left fielder. I have Tristan Head, our shortstop. Uh, Freddie uh, Benavides, who is uh, a pitcher, first baseman, and Walker Buchanan, who's uh, an outfielder and also will help us with uh, on the mound pitching. Excellent. Well, good to see you guys today. So you are a new coach this year at Benjamin, but um, all you know, familiar with baseball. Tell me about taking over this new team and the adjustments that have been made. You know the dynamic of the team, so start. Sure, well, first and foremost, uh, really happy with the opportunity to, to move from Oxbridge to Benjamin. Um, obviously, I've competed against these guys for uh, these guys for the last three years, and uh, very blessed to be here, uh, to be with them for their senior year. Um, coming over, um, found that the roster is loaded with talent, not just with our core senior guys, but all the way down to our freshman level. Um, there's no lack of talent on this team this year, and um, really uh, excited to know that once these guys um, leave us, we are really um, going to have a lot of talent coming back. Um, What's it been like getting to know the team that you used to play with, for, <laughs> you used to play against for so long? Well, obviously, um, Freddie, his freshman year, shut us down. Um, it was like, who is this guy? And, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. Um, get, I didn't really know them as people, and that was kind of the thing coming over that I was most excited about is in the fall we, we tried to get some baseball in but really start building bonds and relationships um, with the kids individually and also bring them together as a team. And what are you bringing new to the program? Here? What do I bring new to the, the program? I think is, um, you know, we're going to work hard and uh, we're going to get after it. But at the end of the day, um, I hope that the kids are having a lot of fun, go home with a smile on their face, and know that we're going to show up every day and play hard. You know, winning um, obviously helps, and I think we're going to do a lot of that this year. But at the end of the day, I really want the culture to be a, a team environment. And that's kind of what I'm bringing to the table for them. Awesome. Now let's start over here. What is it like to have now your new coach? I mean, talk about how that's been for you with adjustments and stuff. It's pretty good having a new coach because it's kind of like a fresh start and being here for it's my fourth season at Benjamin so playing on varsity all those years and it's kind of being stuck in the same place in a way and now we get a, um, like a new start and we get to try building off the talent that we have and getting a new coaching staff adding to uh, our practices and we have now we have a full practice so uh, so having coach Mills here it's uh it's been really good and because in the past we just had some some like just problems with the team like atmosphere and stuff and just like you know becoming like one as a team and I feel like this year with coach Mills we're really like working hard we're all a team together we really like this team and like we're all together and I just feel like this year we're really going to go far and we're going to be successful. Uh, yeah you know uh, like Rock said it's a fresh uh, start to, uh, to a season and uh, we're just you know looking to work hard and play hard. And as coach said you shut him down your freshman year so now you're uh <laughs> <I'm excited. laughs> so you're looking forward to shutting down maybe some, some of the other teams yeah. going for it, right? And what about you? Uh, yeah, I've just heard a lot of great things about our new coaching staff, and so far they're staying true to that. So I just think we'll have a great year. And also the fresh start helps too. Everyone gets to prove themselves and, like, yeah. And let's talk about the team, the interesting dynamic. I mean, you have – I think seven freshmen, 15 guys coming back. So you, as the seniors and the leaders of the team, these younger guys are looking up to you. So talk, somebody can talk about how that how that plays into your success with the team this year. Well, I think like the, the, the younger guys should always be included. Like if we all hang out somewhere, I think they should be included. Like don't like push them off to the side because I feel like that really helps with uh, team bonding and just becoming more as a team because if you exclude the freshmen or the sophomores or the, the lower classmen, it's just like, I don't know, I, I just feel it's not as much of a team in a way. Oh, uh, yeah, so, you know, having the younger guys, you know, it's really good, you know, because 
just like I, when I was younger, you know, I, I had a senior that helped me out and really showed me the games. And it's just really good to show these kids, you know, how to play varsity baseball because a lot of them are going to be stepping in this year. So just like staying late after practice, getting working, you know, hitting, showing them how to play infield, a lot of stuff so they can really contribute to you this year is really, you know, going to help us this year because we're going to need them. So, so you're getting good. motivation from them, but you're also giving them motivation too yeah. as, the, as the team member. So that's great. So let's talk about um, your schedule. Talk about some of the tank coaches. Yeah, so, um, you know, we uh, we open up, um, I believe, with uh, the Treasure Coast. We are playing uh, quite a few of the Martin County teams who are always very, very, very competitive. Um, but we have, you know, we have Dwyer on the schedule. We have um, American Heritage, obviously our district um, with Kings um, and some of those guys. So there's, there's definitely North Broward prep. So there's some really uh, key highlights to our schedule. Um, obviously, every game we're going to go out and, and respect the opponent, but those are some of the games that uh, kind of show up on our schedule that uh, kind of open our eyes. Yeah. Do you feel like this can be a bounce back year for, for districts and things like that? Well, obviously, um, you know, I don't want to uh, kind of look back because we're, we're moving forward with the fresh start. Uh, but yeah, I, I would say that there's high expectations uh, to win a district this year, yes. I'm looking forward to uh, beating the teams that we we lost a lot of games very close like Newman we were winning until like the fifth inning like in the regional game and so we we're so close to just holding on to that win and be upsetting them as the last seed in regionals and uh, another team like Kings Kings always beat us and we were just so close we were winning almost every time they would come back and so just getting a new chance at those teams in our districts and getting to make a state run this year hopefully. Oh yeah, so what Rock said, just what he said, you know, beating the teams that, you know, beat us in the past and just really that's what we're doing, practice, work hard so we can beat those teams and just like, just like, just shock the world, you know, because a lot of people think we're like under the radar because our past couple of seasons, but this year we're, we're going to be, we're trying to beat everyone, so, yeah. Just win ball games, win and dominate, that's basically it. Go out there, be the better team, do everything right, and uh, at the end of the day, win, hopefully win a state championship, it's a goal. Uh, I'm excited because, uh, I think our chemistry has gotten a lot better, so like I'm excited to see how we'll take that into the the big teams we play versus how we did the last time we played them. I think we're a lot closer. Awesome. And what about today at Media Day? How's the experience been for you guys so far today? It's been fun. It's been fun, yeah. yeah it's been fun. Good experience, you know. Good yeah. just bond with the guys. It's been good. Get to see some numbers too. Yeah. See yeah. Where everyone's at. Yeah, first day to see all everybody in a uniform, see some of the other teams out here, say hi to some friends. It's it's a good time. Yeah. And I'm sure you're seeing players from other teams that you've known since you were kids as well, yeah. and playing against them. Like, so, and as seniors, I mean, it must be exciting. It's a lot of pressure too, but exciting for, for you guys to be on the team. So, coach, again, as your first year, let's sum it up a little here for the upcoming year. Mm -hmm. You are going, you know, taking this team dynamic and. Teamwork and out there and challenging them both, you know, mentally, physically, everything. So just kind of sum up what you're looking for for this year as a, a Benjamin and, and. Yeah, so you've kind of touched on it. Um, got a great core of senior guys um, that are very, very talented guys. Um, and then as you go down the line, our younger guys are going to help us this year too. Um, we've got tons of depth at uh, pit at the pitcher's position. Um, our position players are as good as any in the state. Um, and we're going to swing it really well. So for me going in, um, the expectation is very, very high to win this year. Um, but at the end of the day, I really want these guys to come together as a team. If we don't get there, it's not going to be a disappointment. But I think we do have the talent um, if we build the culture um, in a short time to make a run at a state, 100%. Awesome. Well, we wish you luck. Thank you again for participating today. Um, good luck this season. Thank you.